Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here. Check this. Yeah, we did. Okay, we're back here in the Skyhold. I have returned to Skyhold just to go and send our advisors on some more operations because they were so they were quite short ones we did last time, and we did obviously find the last Elven Glyph in the oh, what's this? Way of the Artificer. Ah. What can this be? To ask that question is to prove oneself a craftsman, one who looks upon the raw and wonders what it can become. The artificer is not not of that ken, for she will look upon the same resource and wonder not how it can be elevated, but how it can be made to serve. There are no more words necessary. Multiple schematics follow. I'm not sure if I like that art artificer very much. Um, yeah, as I was saying, we did find the last of the glyphs in the Exalted Plains in the last episode as well, so we can send our researchers to investigate them. If we would like. Uh, Alright, Summon War Council, let's go. Let's see what the results of the other uh, operations were as well. We're focusing very much on Ferelden recently, I did notice. I don't know if that's a bit... Uh, if, if that's bad. Right. Uh, our emissaries have returned. Ozma's pledged to our cause some of the most formidable warriors from the Legion of the Dead. According to the king, they are veteran darkspawn hunters, absolutely fearless. The king also graciously offered to share Ozma's wealth. He recognizes the threat Corypheus poses. Sigil of the Great Bear. Good. Reports of darkspawn activity. Commander, we conducted sweeps of the storm course and determined where the darkspawn are most concentrated. Our Ferelden born soldiers are quite eager to see them driven back. Scout Harding. Search for the hack writer. Nightingale. Uh, Camring is dead. Fully armored, locked in an inner room in his home, a knife in his back. He knew someone was coming for him. Ironically, the scene was exactly the same as the one in the first Hard in Hightown novel. Someone sent a professional after this magistrate, so they had to leave a trail. Cooper. Ooh. Hard in Hightown and Savory Parallels. Oh, we'll get right on that. A copy of Hard in Hightown sits upon the table. Jevelyn was waiting outside the captain's office when Don and when Don and Br Don and Bre Brenakovich slunk out defeated. We're not getting a warrant, are we? Jevelyn looked almost relieved. No, Don met his partner's eyes. The kid was barely twenty and looked like he walked straight into the cocoa barracks on somebody's potato farm. Taller and broader than the guards, Jevelyn slouched as if he didn't know how to fit into his own limbs. The Skyhold it's does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. I think we've got a decent amount of people with us at the minute. Obviously, we 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 can get more. Uh, yeah, as if he thought he should be smaller. Hunched over in his brand new too large armor, he looked like a child playing or being a guard. He was too green for a murder investigation. Maybe it's for the best, Jevlin said, almost speaking Donnan's thoughts out loud. You're on your, you're, you're, you're on your way out with the guard, and I'm... He trailed off and then sighed. Questioning nobles in the middle of the night wasn't covered in training. Donnan glared at the kid. I'm a city guard, and so are you, recruit. Nobody gets away with murder while we're on duty. Jevlin stood a little straight. So what do we do then? The captain wants proof, Don smiled. We bring her proof. Liliana's written a note in the margin. The dead magistrate attempt to implicate Varric. Why and in what? Oh, yeah... That would be a reasonable attempt to implicate him, wouldn't it? If we, if this, if the scene was exactly the same as the Hard in Hightown novel. If an assassin killed the magistrate, a word to the crows might tell us who it was. They, they watch rivals carefully. We should support the official Kirkwall Guard investigation of this murder. Colin is not participating. Yeah, Inquisitor. we'll speak to the crows. We will use our subterfuge uh, contacts, I guess. Um, we should probably check out those glyphs, shouldn't we? Yeah. The elven glyphs discovered in the Dales might uh, prove valuable. Cursory inspection suggests they predate the ruins in which they were found, possibly transferred onto the stone from a much older edifice that dates back to the original elven nation or even earlier. Right. One of our mages, a Dalish elf named named Cillian, believes he may be able to translate the glyphs, provided we grant him the needed contacts. Go for it. Very happy, very happy to do that. It required some gifts to several Dalish clans travelling along the Waking Sea coast, but Cillian was able to get the text he needed to translate the glyphs. He claims they are a kind of map showing the location to an ancient temple dedicated to Dathaman, the elven god of secrets. He's provided us the location, but it should be noted we're not the first to investigate these glyphs. A group of treasure hunters evidently mentioned them several years ago, though they have not been heard from since. 
Would you like to gather your party adventures to the Lost Temple of Dathaman now? Not now. Uh, but is this where we go to get there? Or is it actually in the Exalted Plains? I do not know. Hmm. Not sure. Ah, it is. Okay. We'll probably go there after we've dealt with the Exalted Plains. Everything in there. After we've sorted, sorted, sorted the dealish out. Oh my god, did we never do this? The archives of Monfo. It took a great deal of time to move to, to move the archives to the White Spire in Valroyo. The tower there is almost impregnable and now abandoned by the Templars, so I thought it best place. The Abess was overjoyed and gave us a number of interesting items as a reward. A master balanced pommel. Do you like a bit of crafting? Uh, so resources, resources. Uh, resources, resources, resources. It's all resources here now, isn't it? Yeah, that's probably why we've been very Ferelden focused. Uh, gather coin. We don't need to do that. Um, resources, resources. Acquire the Arcanist. We can do that. Skyhold has incredible potential for runecrafting and mastercraft smithing. If only we had a gifted mind to gain full benefit. The war in the Venatoria have claimed many, many experts, but we have located an Arcanist with great skill and reputation for humbling first enchanters in both Andrastian and Imperial circles. Two assassination attempts and at least one explosion have made landholders reluctant to allow her passage through their territory. It will take significant effort, significant effort to bring her from Tantaville. But this arcanist would be invaluable to the Inquisition. Uh, alliance can overwhelm any concern. The owners of where she will travel need only be convinced of the, of the, the worth of pleasing us. Or a full retinue will secure us safely on the Repeal Highway. We'll, we'll go with Josephine here. The arcanist has been secured despite great costs and the concern of more than a few traditional minded mages. She awaits a meeting with the Inquisitor in the Undercroft. Noted. We can do that. Uh, so we have three to do here. Gather coin. Deploy recent evangelist. Ah, these are these are calls, friends, aren't they? Yes, Inquisitor, we've recovered from our wounds and are ready to serve the Inquisition as you see fit. Evangeline has friends among the Orlesian nobility who may listen to our cause. I am familiar with several caches used by re by the rebel mages. Or if you prefer, we would be honoured to join the Inquisition troops near the Val Valfaman and fight the forces of Corypheus as, as best we can. The Cash's Reese speaks of might yield something of value. A passionate warrior coming from a good family might bring the Inquisition a great deal of gold. Or an experienced Templar and a powerful mage would greatly increase our military strength near Valfa Man. Uh, where, do, where do we want them deployed? They're Cole's friends, so I feel like we should keep them safe. Let's use let's use Evangeline's, Evangeline's contact. Uh, we can't strike a bargain with merchant princes at the moment. Very well. But we can protect the Inquisition's reputation. Dear Lady Montillier, there are scandalous rumours flying about Starcave and tales that paint the Inquisition as, as wicked usurpers and thieves. I suspect Lord Trevelyan's relatives are the ones we quieted before with the help of Cecilia and taking their petty vengeance. There is a ringleader, Bandorna, is taking care not to let any whisper be traced back to his household, but the man has a tongue as fork as an Orlesian bard. If he could be a mid example of, I believe the naysayers will fall, fall silent. Bandorna has feuded with Starkhaven's royal family before. If we start rumours that he intends to begin again, he will be too busy managing that affair to poison ours. Bandorna sends his, sells his harvest to Antiva. If his taxes were mysteriously inflated, he'd have something to worry about besides us. Or... These villains will never stop. I say we let them talk themselves to death. Um, I feel like we should actually put an effort in to make him stop. So I don't think there is, there is actually anything for Cullen to do at the minute, is there? Should, should we just gather coin with Cullen for a bit? Yep. Inquisitor. We'll put Cull Cull Cullen on that. We might as well. So we need to go down to Skyhold. And uh, the so the Undercroft of Skyhold to speak to um, speak to the Arcanist. Um, it's this way, isn't it? Craft a rune in the Undercroft. Oh, it's runes and stuff. Yeah. Is 
Visitor? The Arcanist has arrived. You should see for yourself. I am confused. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's like. Well, don't just stand there slack jaw. Let's figure out what you need. Dagna. Dagna. Is that. I recognize the name Dagna. Is that the woman. The, 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 the dwarf from Origins who wanted to become a mage? Is that her? I feel like that might be her. You're the magical advisor. Ooh. The Inquisitor. What if I ask her about it? Arcanist Dagna. It's an honor, your worship. Is that it? The hand anchor mark? It's pretty. The hand anchor mark. Which was pretty too. In a destroy everything sort of way. <laughs> Welcome to the Inquisition. I welcome you to the Inquisition and look forward to your contribution. Me too. I've heard some impossible things. I love impossible things. Those are the best to make. That's a hint to the fact that dwarves can't be mages, isn't it? I think. Precision is fantastic, but typical, mundane, old thinking. No disrespect meant to the classical trades, but you need a new perspective. I've made adjustments. As long as I keep making them, you can craft just about anything. Almost safely. Almost safely. <laughs> Why do you study magic? Where does a dwarf go to study magical theory? Get out. I asked myself that question for years. Turns out, not in Orzmar. I had to start at a circle. I yeah, it is her. A great warden. Ah! Nice! I love little throwbacks to the, to the first games. Wonders I've seen. And with an objective eye, I can spot where they overlap. That's a surprise for every teacher. It's a grand tradition. It's nice that her, like, passion kind of actually led her to develop as she did. Is there something you want? How could I waste a chance to get close to you? And Corypheus, my goodness. And actual physical rifts in the veil. Also, dwarves? We don't dream. So, when mages talk about it, I can only... Well, dream what it would be like. So there's that. Dwarves don't dream. Huh. Didn't, did not know that. <laughs> what is it you do exactly? Probably. I was born to the forge. That's literal in this mythcast. So the hammer and tong, that's like a heartbeat. But you've a man for that already, and a good one. I'm here because of my passion for magic. Magical study, magical theory. I'm sure her, her and Harriet will get along well. Through it, the manipulation of masterworks. She respects him at least. Right, tell me about enchanting. What's the story with enchanting? Lyrium is a heart. In certain rational patterns, it beats like something alive. That's how I see it. So, a mage can make your weapons do things, but with the right runes, the right rarities, your toys become wonders. It's the one thing mages can't do. It drives them mad. Literally. Dwarves are resistant, so it doesn't affect us. Mostly. You have the ability to make exceptional weapons and armor. 
masterworks. There's an art to the forge, as well as enchanting. You need an ear for it. And hands. Eyes, too. Nothing bad to say about Herod on that front. He's, he's wonderful. But there's this little more needed. With the right bits, an edge can be more than an edge. Armor can do more than protect. A hue can be just a bit brighter. In short, smithing can be... more. <laughs> In short... <laughs> Okay. Another time, Dagna. Of course. Bring me what you want made, and I'll make sure it goes just right. Well, that's good to have her along. Alright, um... What was it that I w I'm needing to do here? There's something I need to do here, isn't there? I think. I hold. Oop, I can... Sense crafting. Have an item enchanted, have Harrick create a masterwork. Craft a rune and the undercroft. How does one craft a rune? Let's see, where is the? How do I? How do I actually craft a rune? Can I set it as active? And maybe it'll tell me. Like so. Yeah, I don't know where. Does Harry have anything to say about it? What do you think of Dagna? Any thoughts about our new tenant? Are you sure she doesn't own the place? Acts like it. <laughs> yes, it needed work. And fine work she's done to it. And for you. Don't mind me. Been a lot of change lately. Cheery as sugared flowers, she is. <laughs> I'll be back later. I'll be here. Yeah, she is a she, she is a cheerful sort. So so where do I craft the rune? Is it in weapons? Oh, it is. Yes. Ah, so we need blank rune stones, which we have none of. Hmm. That is annoying. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's it's done apparently. I, I mean, we we never actually crafted a room, but ah, we can talk about these. You notice the anchor? You seemed impressed by the anchor. What does it look like to you? I heard what everyone says. What you heard Carithia say. That's a long chain of who said what. To me, Chinese says whispers. Key. But keys do a lot of things. Open, lock, switch. Some open one thing. Some open everything. It sounds like Carithia made it to open, but it looks like you. Can it may be that simple. It sure is pretty. Wish I could see through it. <laughs> What's been crafted? Agnes, show me what you can do. You want fire? The first ask is always fire. It's fire, isn't it? Here's how it goes. Bring me the rare stuff for enchanting or masterworks and prep it here just like normal. Except it's not normal. It's manipulation of primal forces. And I'll make sure it goes just right. You'll see. Let's see together. Ready to answer the great mystery. Okay. It'll be wonderful. Grey Warden. You mentioned a Grey Warden who helped you start your I, I I know who the Grey Warden was. Grey Warden. The Grey Warden. The hero of Ferelden is a hero in Orzammar, too. It's incredible that someone like the hero of Ferelden would stop to help the little people. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You gave up so much, left your home. Was it really that amazing? Yes. I left my home and my family, but I knew... I just knew I could be more than a smith. I wish my people weren't stuck in the past, and I regret that my father couldn't imagine another life for me. But I don't regret what I did. Your years of study have paid off. Oh yes, the mages said I brought a valuable perspective. I've even presented my work to the College of Enchanters. Ooh. I wanted an exchange. The surface could learn about lyrium smithing, and Orzammar would gain knowledge of magic. But now there's no college. And so far as the Shaper is concerned, I'm castless. So you're getting my best work, Inquisitor. Let's make some great stuff. Happy to have you, Dagna. Wouldn't have affected you in a well, I can actually way. find some rune stones. To anyone, they'll say the same. It was a dark time. There was one light. He saved us. He saved me. Good. He was a fine fellow, that that uh that Grey Warden. Sorry. I remember. 
See, I can't really do anything in, in any crafting with her now, because just surely because I don't want to have any rune stones. And I'm pretty sure I can't make any, can I? I, I can't just make a rune stone. No. <sighs> Can I modify my weapons and armor at all now with the stuff that I have, just out of curiosity? Uh, see, it, it literally has a rune slot as well. That's the uh, th that's the very annoying thing. <laughs> uh, what about Cassandra's broadsword? That's the only one for that. Okay, that's fine. Sarah, no. Dorian's staff? No upgrades available. Uh, Varric. Varric only has Bianca, really, doesn't doesn't he? And I think everything probably already on. Side of Bianca Rip, yeah, Bianca Arms 3, yep. Yeah. We just need runes. We nearly we do need runes. But I don't know where to get the where to get the blank rune stones from at the moment. Uh Hmm. Okay then. I think we will end this episode here then. This has been a, very, a bit of a quiet episode, but at least we have met our new Arcanist. Very nice to see someone from one of the OG games. Um, well, the OG game in the Dragon Age series. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a nice day. Bye bye.